Hey, it's Andrew from Car Cam Central and we review dash cameras. These are our top five picks for 2016 so far. Compared to other websites or best ofs, we reviewed each one of these cameras ourselves. You can see the full review on our YouTube channel or go to our website for more. Let's get this video started. First up, we have the Xiaoyu Yi dash camera. This is the best value camera at $70 on the market. Starting with video quality records in a gorgeous 1296p. It's crystal clear day or night, even in low light conditions. For example, in capturing dimly lit pedestrians running onto the street. Second, it has good notifications. If your SD card fails, there'll be a high contrast warning screen you can't miss. Unlike other budget cameras, this message stays on the screen so you can fix the problem. Build quality is great. It has a f1.8 6 element glass lens on the front. On the back, you'll find a large and bright 2.7 inch screen. The parent company is Xiaomi who makes devices with great value and reliability. This lends added assurances on quality control and manufacturing. The Yi is also easy to use. Menus are simple and intuitive. It can also connect using Wi-Fi to your phone to review videos, settings, and more. Now on the downside, it's not very stealthy. It comes in two colors, gold and gray, but even the gray model is noticeable compared to other cameras. The Yi uses a lithium ion battery, so if you live somewhere hot, this camera can die sooner. For most people who live in more pleasant environments, you'll love this camera. Get the international version if you want the menu to be in English, or see our video on flashing English firmware onto the Chinese model. Number two is the Transcend 200. For $100, it's a great, budget, reliable, and heat-resistant camera. Unlike the Yi, it uses capacitors which have better reliability in hot weather and has a higher 65 degrees Celsius, 149 Fahrenheit temperature limit. It comes with a two-year warranty and its track record since being released in mid-2014 has been excellent. It's the number one reviewed camera in the UK. In America, users have few issues even in hot environments. Notifications are also done well. They stick around and are easy to see. It has Wi-Fi to view and transfer files, but it's not as good as the Yi. The major downside is the video quality. During the day, fine details disappear, and license plates are harder to read. At night, it's even worse. The Transcend 200 has much lower sharpness and clarity compared to the G1W, our $45 cheap pick. You can't have everything, unfortunately. If you want better video quality and heat resistance, you would have to pay around double the price. As well, the suction mount isn't very good. It kept falling off my vehicle. Purchase the version which includes the adhesive mount instead. Number 3 is our premium camera pick, the Blackview DR650 2-channel edition. At $350, it's not a cheap camera, however we think it's worth it. First off, it has two cameras, a front and a rear facing camera. It uses a thin coaxial cable to connect it to the main front camera. Easy to install, just takes more time. The DR650 has an attractive design and it'll look great in any vehicle. As well, it'll completely hide behind your rear view mirror for a clean look. It has spoken notifications which keep your camera running. When it starts up, Black view for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. And when there's a problem. Please check the SC card. A lot of drivers find this reassuring. Don't like it? Completely customizable. Chop out the length or disable specific messages altogether. It has a great app which allows you to transfer files over Wi-Fi to the internet with a mobile hotspot. It's the only camera which you can view and send videos while the camera is recording. Great if you get into an accident. If you're looking to record while park, it conveniently uses a G sensor and GPS to automatically enable motion detection. This saves space and it automatically disables it once you start moving. Okay, so what's bad? First off, the video quality isn't very good for the price. The low bitrate reduces details and makes reading license plates harder while moving. At night, you see a similar reduction in quality, but light sensitivity is good. In this video, you can pick up dimly lit objects such as pedestrians compared to the cheaper camera. The rear camera is much worse, but it does the job, which is to add context to the situation. You could show that the other driver's erratic behavior caused your own actions to change. Even with the lackluster video quality, there is no other camera like it on the market. We love the style and functionality. Most drivers will be happy and better protected with the Blackview DR650 GW2CH. Number 5 is the G1W. You get good video quality and value for $40. It's the cheapest camera we'll recommend. If you spend less, video quality significantly drops. If you look at the 
DVR-027, the video quality is horrible. Looking back to the G1W, it's noticeably better. Day video is fairly sharp and is much less grainy. At night, video quality is good. It's far more usable than older cameras. You can see the leap in quality. Be aware that the mount adjustability isn't as good. Depending on your vehicle, you could lose some coverage. We also notice vibrations in the recorded video. This can be fixed with a little tape. If you are interested in the G1W, there are a few variations. The cheapest is the original G1W, but it's more noticeable. The G1WH is the blacked out version. The cameras on the side with the Dash C come with a capacitor with better heat resistance. Unless you are on a tight budget, we recommend spending a little bit more money on our next pick. Number 5 is the A118C. For $50 shipped from Taiwan or $80 from an American company, you get a budget, reliable, and stealthy camera. It used to be our overall budget pick, but we think the Xiaoyi Yi will do a better job for most people. When set up with the wire hider, it looks like a factory installed unit. If you know it's a camera. Holding the A118, the body is sturdy and the lens locks nicely in place. The video quality is a little lower than the G1W, but is still quite acceptable. My own accident was captured on this camera. Unfortunately, light sensitivity isn't as good. Lots of dark shadows where you can't make out any details. It doesn't compare to the Xiaoyi, but has the benefits of avoiding being noticed and being equipped with a capacitor for better heat tolerance. Okay, so that's our top five cameras so far of 2016. So you may be wondering, what about other premium camera categories? Well, we haven't reviewed them yet, but you can see some of the promising cameras we researched on our website. As well, you can look forward to an update to this video in the future. But for now, that's it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As well, you can leave me a comment in the section below if you have any questions or suggestions. Thank you.